What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com, back with another SketchUp extension tutorial for you. So today I'm going to use the extension Placemaker along with Layout to try to create kind of an urban diagram. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. Alright, so some of you may have seen some of the stuff I've done in the past about Placemaker. Uh, Placemaker is a really great uh, kind of location mapping slash urban design slash... There's a lot of different things that come in with Placemaker, but basically what it is, is it's an extension that allows you to come in here and import buildings and roads from a location to create kind of a geographical context. So it's super powerful. It is a paid extension. Um, like I said, I have talked about it before. I am also an affiliate for Placemaker. So if you do end up purchasing this extension, I do receive a commission. So I just want to get that all out on the table, but I, now that I'm kind of doing some stuff with layout as well, I kind of want to mess around with this and see if I could create kind of an urban um, diagram type situation. So um, basically the way Placemaker works is you can download it and you can download a third, I, actually I think it's even longer than a 30 day free trial by visiting the sketchupessentials.com slash Placemaker. But basically what you do is you install the extension and then there's this option um, this toolbar that comes with it and you just click on this first one which is the placemaker dialog and you click on this little globe right here to select a place and that allows you to bring in your location data so in this case I've kinda of selected a uh, part of downtown Denver and uh, I've clicked select region to bring that in and then you can click these various options to bring in different things so if you click on buildings it'll bring these buildings in if you click on roads it'll bring in the roads in this area and you do have to be a little careful because that takes a while to bring in all of that geometry but so that's all I'm gonna bring in for right now is just buildings and roads um, there's water and tree options and that sort of thing that you can also bring in but for now I'm just gonna work with these two I'm gonna work with these two pieces of information and so what I'm gonna do now is what I want to do is I want to create kind of a like an urban diagram um, that doesn't necessarily have as much perspective in it um, it's just gonna look uh, I don't want to say necessarily stylized but I, I think it'll just be an interesting way to look at a city and so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go real simple with this so all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a couple different scenes and I'm gonna export them to layout and then uh, we'll see what we can kind of come up with so first thing I'm gonna do if you if you recall when you work in layout what you do is you bring in different scenes out of your model well in this case what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create the scenes that I want so what I'm gonna do is first thing I'm gonna turn off perspective I'm gonna turn it to parallel projection and you can see how when you turn this to parallel projection um, it just gives you like a different perspective on the buildings so you can see how um, like if I have perspective on these go to kind of a vanishing point as opposed to with perspective off um, they're they're a little more kind of straight up and down um, nothing really goes to a vanishing point as much as everything just kind of runs along the same sight lines so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna focus on this downtown Denver kind of location so I'm gonna pick the spot that I like first of all to kind of set my camera location so in this case I'm gonna set it so that I can see all of these taller buildings over here and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna right click up here and I'm gonna click add scene and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a scene and I'm gonna change some of the settings over here in the scenes part of our tray so in this case what I'm gonna do first of all is I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna make sure that it's actually saving all of these properties so you wanna make sure it's saving things like your camera location and your visible layers and that sort of thing and part of the reason we wanna do that is I wanna create two different layers in this case I'm gonna create one layer with the roads so I'm just gonna type in here and I'm gonna name that roads and you can see how that shows up now as roads and then I'm gonna click add and I'm gonna make another scene and I'm gonna call it buildings so in this case what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set this up so on one of these um, only my buildings show up and on my other one the roads are gonna show up so I'm gonna click on buildings first and then I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna turn off all the layers that come in from placemaker except the buildings so I'm gonna come into my layers section I'm gonna turn off the location snapshot all the different imagery that kinda of thing I'm also gonna turn off my axes so just go up to view and click axes and you can turn that off and then in addition you can also come in here if you want to and kind of adjust the way that your shadows look by going to the shadows section of your toolbar and just kinda of clicking this uh, this um, or clicking and dragging this little uh, button right here 
So once I kind of have that the way that I want it to be, I'm gonna right click on buildings and I'm gonna click update. And um, for right now, I think I'm pretty good. You know what I'm gonna do actually is I'm gonna select a different style. So I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna select the straight line style. So you can go down to um, click this drop down in the style section of your toolbar and you can go down to straight lines. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna set these to, let's go ahead and set them to three pixels for right now. We can adjust it later if we don't like it. And I'm gonna just change a couple other things in here because I want these to be a little more detailed out. So I'm gonna turn off the extension and the halo and I'm gonna drag this little um, level of detail slider all the way up. And then I'm gonna click this uh, refresh button right here so that'll refresh this so that this style shows up kind of the way that I want it to. So once I've done all of that, made all those changes, set my style, I'm going to go ahead and right click on buildings and I'm going to click update. So what that's going to do is that's going to save this, uh, this style to this view. And so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here and I'm going to do the same thing for my roads. So for my roads, what I want to do is I want to come in here and I want to turn off everything except roads. So you can turn off buildings, you can turn off imagery, paths, trees, water, basically everything except roads. And we're gonna do the same thing where we come up here and we turn the axes off. And then we're gonna select our style. So in this case, for this one, what I may do is I may select kind of a lighter line weight style. So I can select this like straight lines, one pixel. I can turn off halo. I can turn my detail up, and you can adjust all these different things the way that you would like them to be. But for, for what I'm doing right here, this is kind of what I want to do. I also want to come in here, we'll try this for now. I want this to go ahead and display the shading. So basically, I'm going into my straight lines, style, I'm clicking edit, and then I'm clicking on the face settings and I'm setting this to display in shaded mode. The only reason for that is I want these roads to kind of show up in here shaded, at least for right now. So go ahead and click this refresh button to save your changes to your straight lines. You can right click on your roads and you're going to click update. So now once you've done that, we're going to go ahead and we're going to send this to layout. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to save my model. So go ahead and save your changes. And then once you've saved your changes, you can go up to File and you can click Send to Layout. You could also bring this in manually um, by uh, inserting your view. But for now, we're just going to do the File Send to Layout. Then we're going to click this A3 Landscape Template and click Open. And a note that I probably should have made earlier is obviously Layout is a part of the Pro version of SketchUp, which is the paid version. Um, you do get a 30-day trial of that when you download the free version of SketchUp, but some of you that don't have the Pro version, um, this option may not show up. So what I've done is I've sent this to Layout, and you can see how all my buildings right now are showing up in Layout. Well, what we want to do is we want to insert our roads layer as well. So I'm going to come over here to roads. In my SketchUp model, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to do file, send to layout. Uh, and that'll probably put it in as a separate sheet actually. So we don't necessarily want that. All right, so what we can do instead is we can just duplicate this layer. So what you can do is you can either copy it and paste it or kind of like in SketchUp, if you hold the control key and click, it'll create a new layer. You may have to drag it just a little bit. But you can see how if I hold the control key and I drag this, it's creating a copy of it basically. You can see how I basically have two viewports on top of each other right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a couple different layers down here in my layers section in layout. So I'm going to create one called buildings. And I'm going to create one called roads. So once I've done that, I'm going to take one of these I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to move it to buildings. And you can see how that put that on top. Because basically layers in your layout document get stacked according to what order they're in over here. Then I'm going to click and drag my viewport back so these are right on top of each other. So now right now I have two different 
versions of this. I'm going to go ahead and turn the buildings one off and then I'm going to right click on this and I'm going to put this other one on roads. So now what I have is I have one view on the roads section and one view on the buildings section. And so now what we want to do with this second viewport is we want to come in here to SketchUp model and we want view and what we want to do is we want to select our roads layer. So what you're going to do is you see how that shows up now and it brings in your roads instead of your buildings. And so you can see how I bring that in. My buildings aren't showing up because I turned the buildings layer off. Well, what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to turn the buildings layer back on. And so you can see how right now um, these are kind of backwards in the sense that if I zoom in on this, the roads are on top of the buildings. Well, what we want to do is we want to take this roads layer, because if you remember the roads viewport that we brought in was on the roads layer. We just want to drag it down so that it's under the buildings. And if you watch, when it's under the buildings, then the roads go through here and they get blocked. So, and then once you've got all this kind of modeled out, you can come into your scrapbooks and you can bring in things like la or, uh, like labels and that sort of thing. So let's say you wanted to name this something, you could bring this in here and you can import a scrapbook where you could uh, name this like downtown Denver uh, context. So now basically you've got this sheet where you've kind of labeled it, you've brought in um, both your roads that are shaded a different color and also your buildings with shadows in here. So, and again, you, we could probably come in here and mess around with the shadows a little bit more, but I kind of like the way that this looks right now. So we're just gonna kind of leave it as is. So that's where I'm gonna end today's video. Leave a comment below, let me know what you thought. Um, did you like this workflow? Um, would you have liked to see something different? I just love having that SketchUp conversation with you guys. Um, if you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you want to check out Placemaker, make sure you check out the link uh, right down below this, uh, right down below here. You can download that free trial, go give it a try, see if you like it, that sort of thing. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.